Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we have one very interesting system of Diophantine equations where we are going to evaluate x square plus y square. So let's get started by considering equation number 1 and equation number 2. And let's call this expression equal to E. Now I will consider our equation 1. x minus y equal to 5. Let's consider squaring both sides. So, whole square, whole square. A minus B whole square formula I will apply. A square plus B square minus 2AB equal to 25. Now, let us consider substitution XY equal to suppose T. So, I can write equation as x square plus y square minus 2t equal to 25 or we can write x square plus y square equal to 25 plus 2t and this equation I will consider equation number 3. Now let us consider cubing both sides this time. So I will write x minus y equal to 5 and then consider cubing. So a minus b whole cube formula. I will write a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b equal to 125. Now x minus y is 5, equation number 2. So I will write x cube minus y cube, x y is t, minus 3 times t times 5, equal to 125. So from here I can collect x cube minus y cube value. This will become 125 plus 15t. Let's take 5 common from here. So it will become 5 times 25 plus 3t. And this equation I will call equation number 4. Now let us multiply both the equations. So I will write equation 3 into equation 4. So I can write, let me write here, x square plus y square times x cube minus y cube equal to, this side I will write 5 times, let me take that multiplier out, times, then I will be writing 25 plus 2t and in second bracket it would be 25 plus 3t. Now I will literally multiply these two brackets in LHS. So x power 5, this product, this product will give us minus y power 5. Cross multiplication gives us x cube y square and minus x square y cube. Right hand side I will be writing 5 times. Let's multiply. 625 75 plus 50 125 plus 60 square. Now here I will write equation number 1 it is 275. Then I will consider x square y square common. So in bracket it would be x minus y left equal to 5 times the same bracket 625 plus 125t plus 6t square. Now I will write 275 plus this is t square x minus y is 5 equal to 
5 times the bracket 625 plus 125t plus 6t square. Now I will divide this equation by 5. So I can write 275 divided by 5. It is 55 plus t square equal to this 5 will be cancelled out 625 plus 125t plus 6t square. Take all the term to RHS. So I will write 5t square then 125t we have then I will write plus 625 minus 55 570 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 5. So I can divide by 5 t square plus 25t plus 114 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation in t. Let's solve. So I will write t square plus 25t plus 114 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So minus b minus 25 plus minus under the root b square. It is 25 square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a. So 2 times 1 it is 2. Minus 25 plus minus it is 625 minus 456 divided by 2. Further I can write minus 25 plus minus square root 169 divided by 2. So from here I can write either this will be minus 25 plus minus this is 13 divided by 2. So t is nothing but our substitution. This was x times y equal to with plus sign it will become minus 12 over 2. With minus sign it will become minus 38 over 2. So this value will be minus 6 and minus 90. This is the value of t or xy. Now equation number 2 and this equation xy is equal to minus 6 minus 19. Let me write. I will frame two system x minus y equal to 5 and xy equal to minus 6. One system and second system is x minus y equal to 5 and xy equal to negative 19. Now we have to make sure that integer solutions will come. So if I will write one quadratic equation from here, then I need to substitute y equal to minus 19 over x from second equation to the first one of this system. So I can frame one equation x minus y will be plus 19 by x equal to 5 or I can write quadratic equation x square minus 5x plus 19 equal to 0. x cannot be 0. Now if I will check only the discriminant delta b square minus 4ac. So it is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 19. So it is 25 minus 76. So it is minus value, negative value. Complex solutions will generate. So we will reject this. That means xy equal to minus 19 will be rejected. Let's check whether xy equal to minus 6 is accepted or not. So we have to calculate x and y both. So I can write from here y equal to minus 6 over x and let's put in the first one x plus 6 over x equal to 5. 
this quadratic will get x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. And if I will factorize this, then I will be having two factors x minus 3 x minus 2. So x is coming out 2 or 3. So from first equation x minus y equal to 5. I can write y value. y will be x minus 5. So 2 minus 5 minus 3 it will be and then 3 minus 5 so minus 2. So we have got x comma y 2 comma minus 3 and 3 comma minus 2 integer values and real values. Let's calculate our expression. So I will write here x comma y first 2 comma minus 3 and 3 comma minus 2. Now I will write our expression e equal to x square plus y square. This will become 2 square plus minus 3 square. So from both the cases, we will get 4 plus 9 equal to 13. Similarly, if I will consider from the second one, then we'll be having 3 square plus minus 2 square. That will come out same result. So our answer will become expression value equal to 30. And this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.